Hey YouTube, JSTAR here, and today I'm going to show you how to make these European advertising columns. These were originally designed to display posters for cinema and theater, nightclubs, concerts, etc. And the first ones appeared in Berlin in the 1850s, but then they became really popular in the 1860s in Paris. I love them, I put them all around my city, and I'm going to show you how to make them. All right, so here's what you need to build it. The most important thing that you need is the six by six octagonal windscreen with or without the axle hole. These come in white, red, or gray. For the gray and white with the axle hole, they can be kind of pricey, but the red you can still pick up pretty cheap or maybe you just happen to have them in your collection. I think this in red would be super good. You get the red wheelbase and then put the red top on it. I think it would look great in a Lego city. The other thing you need is stickers to be the advertisements. Now I created my own by searching for vintage advertising posters. I printed them out as photos and then used double stick tape to stick them onto the cylinders. Okay, so let's put it together. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your half cylinder, two by four by four, and you're gonna put the stickers on it. Now, everybody's got stickers in their Lego collection. You can put anything you want, anything that matches your city. Just cover the cylinder. Um, the four cylinders with the stickers. Now, as I said, I make my own. I searched online for vintage advertising posters, and I especially look for things from Copenhagen uh, and Denmark and things with Lego on it. Um, these I added Legot and build to them. But I searched for all kinds of things. I actually found this really cool stamp from Denmark that had red Lego pieces on it. I think that was really cool. And just anything you can. This is a um, Hamlet from Denmark. So I size them to fit two per cylinder. And then I print them out as photos at Walgreens. And then I cut them out and I affix them with double stick tape to each cylinder. Okay, so once the half cylinders are covered with stickers, you can start your build. Okay, to put it together, you're gonna take two two by two round plates and a six long axle, put the two plates together and then just put them at the base of the six long axle and then feed that into your wheel. Okay, so now take three two by two round bricks and one two by two round flat plate, stack those up and feed those onto the axle and slide it down just above the wheel. You're gonna leave space between the wheel and the bottom of this little column stack. Now you're gonna fit your half cylinders on and you'll see they just slide right over the column stack and under the column stack to fit between the wheel and the column stack. Put on the two cylinders and then kind of press it in place to make sure it's as tight as it can be. Now take your other two cylinder pieces and rotate them 90 degrees when you put them on top so it locks those two cylinder pieces together. Now we can build the top. Now you're gonna take a two by two dome and a three long axle and put the axle inside the dome and then slip it into the uh, cockpit piece. Now, as I said before, some come with the hole, some without. The white ones right now with the hole are $11 without or $3.50. The red ones are only like 20 or 40 cents. I, ha I have bought the ones without holes and just drilled the hole. I don't worry about that. Lock it in place with a two by two round plate and then put some kind of finial on top. I use a little spear piece, and then that just fits down on top of the columns. 
So for the finial, I used a spear piece. You could use a unicorn horn or perhaps a gold dome with a crown, make it very fancy. I think that'd look good with the red. And you can use, for the inside, any color of the little round cylinders. But um, for the column itself, you can make them white or red. I think the red would look really cool with uh, the gold top on it. Anyway, let's put it in the city. So I'm gonna put mine here beside the French newsstand and I've put a four by four plate into the sidewalk and I have these on the corners. There's one up there, the four main corners of my city and there's one in the center. You can't really see it from this angle. Anyway, just pop it down onto the four by four plate And voila. Now you can rotate this to show whichever side and to hide the little hinge, please. So just rotate that to the back and then voila, a French advertising column. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please like and subscribe and visit me on Instagram. I'm at legostar08. From Belleville, this is J-Star saying have a great day.